Welcome to our last day in Psalm 147. It's been a beautiful couple of days focusing upon uh, the grace of the Lord that he gives to all people by virtue of his creative purposes and then the particular grace he gives people as they respond in love, in fear to uh, God's revelatory power displayed through Jesus Christ. And the last part of this psalm was focused upon Israel who had received the word of God and then their task was to love their heavenly father, to put it into practice because they had the word of God revealed to them. So this last word today from Psalm 147 is really aimed at Christians today. And its focus is to say in its most strongest terms, you have the truth of Jesus Christ in your heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. How can you expect non-Christians to see in God the truth of the gospel in part unless they see you live it out? It's a powerful word to Israel in its original context. This common grace is displayed to all the world. But as they look for particular ways where people live out the reality of their faith, who are they going to look to? In the Old Testament, they will look to the faithful people in Israel. How are they living it out? As it says here, he has revealed his word to Jacob. It's a, another way of saying Israel. His laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. How are they going to know? By looking upon those whom the word of God has been revealed and measuring the accuracy of the ability of them to trust in their father. Like he said back in verse 11, the Lord delights in those who fear him. Well, do you, Christian, fear God to the extent that you put your hope in his unfailing love? Because as you live it out, other people see it and they measure the reality of God's presence in this world in part through the way you live it. How could they do anything else? They don't have the law upon their own hearts from God, but you do. And so if you live it out, they start to see in your character change, in your faith, the revelation of Jesus Christ to them through you. Now, this is not meant to be a guilt trip. It's just a reality check. This is what the world does. They see in the lives of those of faith the truth of their words. Do we live it out? We need help to live it out. We need to have a fear of the Lord upon our hearts, not the principal who in the olden days would have given as a hiding or a whipping, no, or a dysfunctional father or mother who treated us shamefully, no, none of those things are from God. There'll be a wrong application to this text. The right application to this text is when you see God's love so beautifully, you realize that he is like a heavenly father who does love you and has given us his law so that we would see in that law the character of what it truly means to be human, to fully embrace your humanity. And as you live out the law of God, others look upon you, and some may laugh and some may sh not care, but some will look at your life and say, you know what, I wish I was a bit like that. How can I? resemble that and you don't point people to yourself do you you point them to jesus who has transformed you from a person who was just like that other person to a person worthy of emulation because who is the ultimate person worthy to be imitated it's jesus and that's what you point others to that's your task christian that's your task, brother or sister, to point others to the saving grace of Jesus, which now works in you. And when you stuff it up and can't do it, what do you do? You come and say sorry to your father like you would do if he was your earthly father. And he lovingly forgives you. And hopefully in this case of our heavenly father, as we know he will, strengthen you in order to reflect the joy of sins forgiven and the hope of now living out a character life sponsored in your heart by Jesus Christ. That's your task, to do verse 19 and 20, because without you doing it, most of the world has no chance. They don't see it. 
They can't live it. They never hear of it. But they will hear of it if it's your family and friends and the world through you. Be the light of the gospel to your family and friends. Because, as the Apostle Paul says, if no one is sent, how can they hear? If no one hears the word of God, is it because we have failed to speak it and failed to live it? Let's have hope that is never the case. Set your heart to Jesus Christ and him alone. And look for opportunities to bring the love of the Lord Jesus, which you so beautifully know, into their hearts and minds. And pray that God will use your faith powerfully to bring others to Christ. Amen.